what's going on ladies and gentlemen i'm back again how y'all doing i hope you had a wonderful week going into hump day um got another tom mcdonald video for you today hangman really enjoying this journey and this rabbit hole tom he's a he's an excellent artist i really enjoy his work so we're gonna go right into this one hangman see what this is about and this yeah, give me my reaction the ones who say Yo, he always just like, wow, goes right into it. You know, he's back in his darker days. He's been getting a drink. He's going to burn a bridge and then piss on it, drink some whiskey with, with ash and spit it in their face. Yo, the way he, like, in, hmm, articulates? Let's think of what I'm saying. His words to make you think about what he has to say. Like, yo, if you drink liquor... And sp with ash and spit in somebody's face. That's very disrespectful. You know? Man. And the whole black and white video thing is, yo, it's good. Like, Nova is really good at making and editing videos. Yo, she's she's good. All right, let's go. Let's go. Take it back just a little bit. Mix the ash with some whiskey and spit it all in their face. My new girl probably flip if you got something. She reminds me of myself when I would drink every day I used to feel like how I felt was just a temporary phase But now I feel like the feelings are fucking feeding our fame And I don't plan to slow down and give it a second to breathe I push the pedal past the breaking point I'm picking up speed in 20 mm. Push the pedal past the breaking point Picking up speed It's just like holding down the gas pedal And the car continues to pick up speed And you don't even care about the brakes You know And the whole thing Hopefully by the end or towards the middle of the video, I get what the whole news thing is. Because the video is called Hangman. So trying to see what the resemblance of the noose around his neck. And he's putting on, he got a noose tattoo on the back as well. So I want to see what that's about. And hopefully it explains it in this video. You know, like his, like his feelings are used to how they used to be. And they're feeding his fame. So how he used to feel is feeding how good he's you know doing right now i understand that you know you got the way your outlook on the world is and how it was is making you famous right now i'm to give it a second to breathe i push the pedal past the breaking point i'm picking up speed in 2016 swear i came apart at the seams i was scared of the dark and therefore afraid of my dreams but i rebuilt what came apart with iron alloy and beams come fly a plane into my legs and i won't fall to my knees mm. Oh, oh, oh yeah I rebuilt with what I lost with iron alloy and beams you fly a plane into my legs and I won't even break I won't even bend at the knees that means his foundation is solid right now regardless of what you do to him say to him his foundation is solid he's no longer the man he was he's stronger from what he went through in the past yo that that ball was crazy Ball was crazy. Came apart with iron alloy and beams. Come fly a plane into my legs and I won't fall to my knees. Haven't taken any pills to calm me down for a month. I'm on the edge and I'm waiting for any reason to jump. Don't take it lightly. I'm excited when they throw in the punch. I got a list of different strategies to bury these bumps. Very rarely do I carry out a weight of a grudge, but I've been barely ordinary since the prairies and drugs. My mm. Very rarely do I carry the weight of the drugs. Uh, carry a grudge, I'm sorry. And, you know, we're fairies and drugs, so, you know, he don't carry a grudge. But when he does, you better look out. You better look out. And, you know, I think I'm starting to realize what the symbology is of the news. is everything that he went through and that he's done from the liquor, alcohol, and drugs. and felt like he just wanted to hang himself. But he's better than that now. So I think I'm going to get back to you on that towards the end of the video, though friends and camouflage with some guns and i've been fairly military but my army is one they've been passive aggressive with how they deal with my message they that used to be the army's message 
back then an army of one when they would recruit yeah we're an army of one <laughs> but now they since changed that but yo okay Lack the passion and reckless nature of truthful expression they ain't made of what i'm made from they've been bruised up and dented they don't understand the underhanded ruthless obsession that i was born with slam like the door sticks closet full of skeletons so heavy couldn't move them with a forklift mm. <laughs> so whoever did this video like the editing with the audio his voice as on certain tracks he's echoing it in the back and they really have it like oh dubbed down like pitched down you know to make it low but you can understand what they're saying they're saying the same thing he does you know slam like the doors his closet slams like the door sticks and he's so much skeletons in his closet you couldn't meet <laughs> carry a movie i'm sorry i'm losing my mind. you couldn't move it with a forklift now I'm really understanding what the news is for. I'm understanding. I'm understanding Tom, his the way he thinks and the way he rhymes, put his schemes together. It's like visual presentation, you know. It's like if you could put his mind in a PowerPoint presentation, you will see everything that his thoughts, but he tells you everything and then you can mentally see it. I oh wow. This that ball was fire though. I like that. Slam like the door sticks. Closet full of skeletons so heavy couldn't move them with a forklift. Your bitch probably fell in love because you forced it. Now she bumped my records while you deep inside a porn <laughs> bitch. Yo. <laughs> yo. Yo, chick fell in love because you forced it. <laughs> she pumping my music okay, while you deep in a porn <laughs> Yo. I woke up with a buzzing in my head. I don't want to leave the comfort of my bed. A dozen missed calls from a dozen of my friends. And my day just started, but it's coming to an end. Already getting dark. Wake up with the stars. I don't even know how. Yo, I like how that 808 hit right there. I'm sorry. Oh, man. That 808 hit hard. Hmm. It's coming to an end. Already getting dark. Wake up with the stars. I don't even know how I got home after I left the bar. Eight months sober and I hate that it's over But the weight on my shoulders started breaking my heart I started out with one or two And then I moved to three or four And then I realized that I was back where I had been before Out of vans gone missing from the bottle Tell my doctor they were stolen But I know that they were swallowed mm. So he's giving a, a history lesson on his past Of what things he used to do and how he used to be Now the symbology of the news that's around his neck and a song titled Hangman. Because everything he did back in the day, he could have hung himself from all the bad stuff he did and all the things that he went through. He was down on his luck, down on out. And, you know, it only takes one thing to turn you around and bring you back. I'm glad. I'm so glad that everything he's been through has made him stronger. And he started putting his feelings and everything into music. Glad. Yes. All right. Glad he's here from that. Stronger person from everything he went through. Out of vans gone missing from the bottle. Tell my doctor they were stolen, but I know that they were swallowed. Everything I ever did was always done with open throttles. All the way or nothing. Non commitment is a broken promise. Mm, all the way or nothing. All the way. Oh man, it's an open throttle. All the way or nothing. Non commitment is a broken promise. You know, and I agree with that. Because if you don't commit to anything, it's like you're breaking a promise to you, yourself, and those that you committed to. And that is a very big in today's society, in today's world. When you make friends, if you commit something to them, you always follow through. You know, don't make promises you can't keep. Let's go, Tom. Let's go. In this video, the beat. Yeah, I'm going to have to battle Tom and making beats. See, you know what I mean? I know a lot of people are like, Tom, I listen to this beat. You could... Tom, let's go. I ain't a rapper no more. But I'll get you with the beats. <laughs> I trash at making beats. And I know that that's a problem in itself. But you're living or you're dying or you're crying out for help. Yeah, it's been a week since I felt like me. I've been starving, but I just can't eat. I'm exhausted, but I can't find sleep. It's been harder than it's ever been. The darkness hasn't ever dimmed. The light's so bleak. I never understood what they meant when they said that they were just the shadows of men that they had been before they were beat. Now I know that everything I heard was for real when I'm looking in the mirror at a shell of myself. I think that stress is a contributing factor to being 28 and feeling older than dad does. The mm. Mm. 
Ah, uh, 28 and feel older than your dad? Wow, that's a lot of weight on your shoulders. Oh, man. And to be able to tell people about that? Wrinkles on my face spreading faster and faster. If the good die young, I hope I'm one of the bad ones. The day's long, stay strong and try again tomorrow, though. Even if you're running out of reasons to ignore the phone. Even if you're running out of gas, go and borrow more. Your demons knock the hardest when you finally chose to close the door. This is not the way my parents raised me. I hope they realize that they didn't fail one of their babies. This is the result of a declining social climate that's original design was keeping people trapped inside it. Liquor and violence, we suffer in silence until we embrace one another and find our collective defiance will topple the giants. I just try to smile through the crying because I know that someone somewhere is feeling way worse than I am and that's true. That's true. Well, I didn't want to cut it off because I only had a little bit, but yo, that is so true. Your demon knocked the hardest when you finally decide to close the door. You know, that's when they want you back. They want you back and they fit. And once you close that door on them, they have no way to get you. But, you know, and there's always somebody out there feeling worse than you, you know. There's always somebody out there feeling worse than you are. So when you think you're having a bad day. It's probably someone else having a worse day than you are. So, you know, you're always, some point in your life, even though you're feeling down, you're still blessed. And Tom proved that. I'm glad he stepped away from the noose. And, you know, and, yo, that was a good song. That was an excellent song. Putting himself out there. Not a lot of people, not a lot of rappers can do that. And I appreciate that. I'm learning more and more. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe, follow me. I'm trying to get to know Tom and you guys taking this journey with me. I appreciate it. So until the next video, peace and love, everyone.